Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the graph terminologies and the introduction to graphs. So now in this session we will go with the another concept in graph that is graph traversals. So our topic is graph traversals. So what is meant by this traversals? So traversal means visiting all the nodes that means traveling around all the nodes in the graph. So here we, should, we will not have any root node. So we can assume any node as a starting node, any node as a starting node. And from that starting node, we have to visit all the nodes without any repetition. That means every node of a graph should be visited only once. Right? Now, we are having two types of techniques in this traversal, graph traversals. So, the first one is depth first search traversal. It is called as DFS. And the second one is breadth first search. which is called a BFS, right? So based upon the depth, we will travel all the nodes of a graph that is called a DFS based upon the breadth, that means level. So we have to visit all the nodes of a same level, then only we will shift to the next level. So that in such a way, we will go with the BFS, we will implement this BFS. So in order to implement this DFS and BFS, we will use the stack data structure for implementing the DFS, we will use Q data structure for implementing the BFS. Right? So now let us take an example and we will see the procedure how the DFS will work and how the BS, BFS will work. It's a very simple topic. Right? Now, coming to this DFS. See, let us take an example here. A, B, C, Yes, so you can go with this one. Okay, so you can go with this one. This is a graph. So graph is also similar to a tree, but a graph can contain cycles. That means loops. So this is a graph, of course. All right. So now, first, let us assume this one is a start. So we can assume anything. Any node can be a start. Okay. I will assume that a start for simple understanding. Right. So I will visit one by one. Okay. So after visiting this one, after visiting this one, so I will place a weight as one. I have visited A, I have placed it as one. Now I am coming to C. Right? So you can go with the B or C, anything else. Okay, both are same. You can visit either B or C. So we can get a, a different outputs. Okay. So I will visit C. So the C uh, weight is 1. Now from the C, again there are two adjacent nodes. So we can visit any one node. Okay. So I will go with the G. And the weight of G is 1. Now it is a leaf node. There are no nodes. Okay. There are no adjacent nodes. We should not say it is a leaf node. We are not having any adjacent nodes. So backtrack, backtrack C and go with the another adjacent node, right? And mark it as one. So here also there is no adjacent nodes. Again, backtrack, again, backtrack. So again, the node is visited. So go with the adjacent node. So B will be one. Now again, B is having two adjacent nodes. We can go with the D or E, Any, anything. Okay, so I will go with the D. Mark as D1. Again, there are no adjacent nodes. Backtrack, right? Again, go with the E. 
and go with the one so there is no nodes okay there are no adjacent nodes backtrack and again backtrack again we came to the start node and there are no adjacent nodes there are no adjacent nodes so this is how we can use this DFS so first we have visited A then C then G again backtrack C so already C is visited so we should not write C next F right next no adjacent nodes again C C is visited again A A is visited B B and then we have visited D no adjacent nodes backtrack B already there no E so E there are no adjacent nodes again backtrack to B B is there backtrack to A A is there so there are no adjacent nodes any other adjacent nodes so this is the DFS of a given ring right here okay so this is the DFS for the given graph right now we will go with the implementation part so for implementing this one we will use the stack so for the step one for the step one consider a stack and consider the DFS expression right so starting node push the starting node into a stack so A will be presented here so A is pushed here now pop the A and place it in the DFS expression right so this is the DFS expression so step 2 in the step 2 so popping the A and placing A here now place the adjacent nodes place the adjacent nodes here so we will go with adjacent nodes B C push the adjacent nodes of A push the adjacent nodes of A so what are the adjacent nodes of A B and C so we can write B first we can push the B and then C or we can push C and B so if you push C and B the output will be different so both are same so here both are the adjacent nodes we can visit any node right so next step we have to pop the so already C is visited so we have to pop the C and push the adjacent nodes of C onto the stack so step 3 B A and C A and C now what are the adjacent of C F and G so F and G right B F and G so we can write first we, we can push first F and then G or we can uh, push first G and then F anything is cut okay so I am pushing the uh, F first and G in the next now remove the element and push the adjacent nodes of that node so here G is a leaf node right so it doesn't have any adjacent nodes so just pop that node and place in the DFS so step 4 A C G so B and F are there B and F are there A C G ok then step 5 same so here G is not having any adjacent nodes leave it now F remove the F and push all the adjacent nodes of F so already the DFS expression is having A C G and now we are placing F F here so F is also having no adjacent nodes leave it now B step 6 stack is empty A C G F and B 
So just pop the element and push the adjacent nodes of that element. So what are the adjacent nodes of B? That are D and E. So first I will push E and then D. So anything we can do. First D and then E or first E and D because both are the adjacent nodes. Right. So after that, after that, step six. Now step seven. What we have to do? Again, pop the element and push the adjacent nodes into the stack. So here D is having no adjacent nodes. Just pop the element. So step seven. E and in the DFS A C G F B and D right now only one element in the stack the same thing apply the same thing pop the element from the stack and place the adjacent nodes of that node into the stack here E is also having no adjacent nodes so just after step 8 the stack is empty and the DFS traversal is B, D and E. Right? So stack is empty. Stack is empty. Right? So don't get confused. Just I have written empty. Okay? Okay. This is empty stack. Empty, right? So if you observe this one, we got the same thing. A C G F B D E. So by using the stack, we can implement this DFS approach, right? So this is one way we can implement this one. So one more thing, I I just want to say here, both are the adjacent nodes. Need not worry to push the order of I mean uh, pushing the order of nodes into the stack so we can follow any order so you, you can push B first and then C next we can push first C and then B so that we'll get a num multiple number of outputs so if you push first C so here we have applied I mean push operation first on B then C so we got this one if you apply first C then B we'll get the next one another one I mean another output so don't get confused, right? So hope you understood this uh, session. A simple DFS approach, depth first search. For implementing this depth first search, we'll go with the stack, right? So uh, if you have, if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, DFS, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. So that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really understood these sessions. Uh, like my sessions, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.